Many Orange County residents will gather around the dinner table next Thursday and give thanks for all they have. Unfortunately, others not will, be, will not be so, so lucky. Food donations are down at local food banks, and cuts in federal funding may mean some families in need will go without. Register reporter Courtney Perks has been following this story, and she joins us now from the Register Building in Santa Ana with a preview of her Sunday feature. Thank you for joining us, Courtney. I'm not sure whether your story inspired me or made me so sad I can't even speak. It's really not good with Second Harvest, is it? No, I spoke to officials from Second Harvest and also from the Orange County Food Bank, which is a community action partnership program, and they are um, having to scramble a bit this holiday season to make sure that families are not only going to have those turkey dinners, but have the kind of staples that they need to sustain their families um, in everyday life, um, breakfast cereals and pasta and canned vegetables and all those sorts of things. Um, those donations are, are uh, all in need right now. Why, is, why do supplies happen to be so low, Courtney? Well, um, the food bank in this industry says that um, there's just been a lot of transition going on. Uh, for one thing, food manufacturers are getting more efficient. They're making fewer mistakes that would end up um, lining the shelves of food banks. Um, one example being something like purple ketchup. Um, yeah. And the other being that um, the federal government, which purchases surplus food from farmers, they have um, been giving about 40% less um, to food banks over the past four years because farmers have been able to get higher prices for their crops. So as a result, there's less surplus to then give, um, give to the hungry. So kind of a combination of factors. Yeah. One of the things I found somewhat sad and, and interesting is the fact that even these food drives, and we've had a couple stories on, and we have another story coming up about food drives, they help, but really not enough. Without these enormous pushes from these large corporate sponsors, it's become very precarious. Right. It's really interesting because um, the food banks, they can purchase deeply discounted food um, themselves. So they say that cash is extremely helpful. But on the other hand, food banks are, or food drives, excuse me, are such great community building activities and it gets people in the giving spirit and um, it's something tangible that people can do. So they don't want to discourage that, but it's also, there's cost to ship things. Um, they can't, uh, when, when you receive donations, you can't necessarily um, guarantee that you'll have all the items that you're looking for. So um, they definitely appreciate the food drives, but those, those are not the bulk of, um, of what, they need to be, what they need to be receiving. Um, but they do say that even um, some of the largest food drives have produced less food this year. And um, as we all know, grocery prices are up in, in Southern California and folks struggling with gas prices and housing and all sorts of things. So it seems like the economy in general is also affecting this story as well. We just have just a couple seconds, but did, were they hoping that maybe public would help out? They're looking for donations of food and money still, even if it's just a percentage? Yes, most definitely. And frozen turkeys, too. Frozen yeah. turkeys, yes. Uh, lots yeah. and lots and lots of turkeys. Uh -huh. Hey, spend $25, get a free one at every single grocery store in the county. All right, well, well, thanks so much, Courtney. It was a really interesting article, and people can enjoy it this Sunday in the Orange County Register. Thank you. Thanks, Courtney.